Hello there, this is Michael from Asia Virtual Solutions. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, using your Dropbox uh, to sync your uh, link list with GSA Search Engine Ranker uh, and how to hook it up. Now on the page here is this, this, the Asia Virtual Solutions uh, link list uh, sales page and on here we have um, <coughs> where we ask for your Dropbox email uh, if you have purchased before and, you, and this option was not here, you can send me your Dropbox email uh, and uh, verify uh, your order, then I will add you. So basically what will happen is when you order here, or you send me your Dropbox link, uh, I will then uh, go and share two folders with you, which is the identified and the verified uh, folder where the list is. Now the benefit of this is that whenever I update the list, whenever we add links to the list uh, or new verified links are copied to it, you will immediately get that update uh, on your Dropbox site. Uh, and so you don't have to wait until the end of the month uh, to go and download from the link list and member area. Now this will work whether you bought the list from us or any of the other providers that uh, offer link lists uh, via Dropbox. They all basically work on this same uh, principle and uh, they will share the list with you and you have read access only to the list then. So what will happen? So I now share the folder with you uh, or I share the folder and you will receive an email that looks like this. Okay, it will be from Dropbox. It will say Michael via Dropbox uh, has, uh, that will be your name, a VPS 7, that will be your name there. It will say you, uh, I shared the site list verified with you. You will get another one for identified, so I use two different folders. Okay, so you just uh, go to your Dropbox and accept the, inv the invite. So on your Dropbox, let me close this. Uh, on your VPS or on your computer at home, uh, you will see, if you right click on your Dropbox, you will see here now, it says uh, Michael has invited you to the shared folder site list. So all you now need to do is, um, see there's nothing, wait one second, I just want to show you the Dropbox quickly. There's no ver verified uh, list in here, okay? These are your other... Uh, for folders in your Dropbox that you have already. So what you do now is you click uh, accept and then you will see now the folder will come automatically um, uh, in the site list verified. Okay, so that basically is it. Uh, and now it will automatically sync and you can see the files that is in here and uh, whenever we do updates these will automatically update Okay, so that's all good and well, but how do you now get this into your GSA Sales Engine Ranker? That is not so difficult. So open your GSA Sales Engine Ranker. You go to uh, Advanced. And then these things here, forget what they are called. You can store different lists in each of these slots. Okay, so my identified list you just browsed, look, we just added now the verified. So we click on this uh, drop down. Uh, we look for our Dropbox folder and I want to add that verified. Let's just highlight it and click OK. And now you will be have, if you have other lists, you can add them in, in more slots. So each of these lists going to have a different list. So okay, I now use the, the um, Excuse me, I used the identified and the verified, but this could be, I could have easily have done it in the submitted or failed. Uh, don't be put off by what it's called. You can use this for whatever. Also, since this is a read access only list, you will not be able to check that box, which is the uh, check mark to write to that list. This is a read only uh, uh, list that I shared with you. So don't take anything over here. Okay, so once you've done that now, you've uh, linked your identified list to your Dropbox folder. See that Dropbox? 
identified, click OK, uh, and you've done the same for the verified, and that's all. Uh, normally it will be the app data, so just leave the others alone if you're not using any of them. So you'll see now if you just click on open folder, you'll see it open in your Dropbox folder. So that's it. Now when you create a project, let's just do a quick one. Uh, in the option tab here, then if you want to use the list, you have to check that box. Use all from global site list. And wherever your list is in, let's say you saved your list to submit it, then you check that box to use your list that's in the submitted uh, slot. We, you, we saved it in the identified and the verified. We have two lists in there. If you now added your list to any of the others, you can check them all. And then you can use four different lists, basically. Uh, or you can just use whichever ones you want. Um, and that's it. That's how you share the list. Uh, you just continue to complete your project and then click OK. So that's how you, how the list is shared. And you will see all the time now here on the right, you will see the updates. Uh, you see the list is uh, uh, four minutes ago, this changed. Seven hours ago, this list changed, that list changed. Uh, this VPS has been shut down, so it doesn't show here. Okay, so if you have any questions uh, with this, uh, or you need my help to maybe explain in more detail, feel free to contact me. Okay, so let me just get out of here. So this is then uh, all you have to do to share the list. Uh, if you have uh, if you have a list on uh, your, say you're not using any paid link list, and uh, you just want to use it, uh, uh, your own list that you have saved on your computer uh, via Dropbox, then you do exactly the same thing. Let me just go back in there. Uh, in there, you then uh, just um, use the preference and select which uh, which uh, which list which which of your Dropbox uh, stuff you want to sync. Okay, so if in your Dropbox at home, you have a folder called black uh, blacklist, and it will show you. Yeah. And if you want to sync that list, then you just check the blacklist, and that's it. And then uh, it will then show in uh, Dropbox folder. Yeah, so from uh, from here. When you create a, when you, you just then add this to point this, this link here by using the drop down and then you select wherever your blacklist is. Okay, uh, thanks and uh, hope uh, the videos will help. Have a good day. Bye bye. Oops.